it, welcome back to my channel. My name is Natarika and if you're new here, please subscribe. So today I thought I wanted to play around with loads of different colours and I don't know why but I thought I'd go for green because it's something different and I love green so yeah. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to like and uh, comment if you do enjoy it or want me to do more colours. So let's get straight onto the video. So as always, this eye is already done, so let's move on to the other eye. And I am priming my eyes with the Collection Last Imperfection Concealer, as always. And I'm just setting that with some translucent powder and I'm using the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I forgot to mention that as you can see, my eyebrows are already done and I filled them in with the Freedom Eyebrow Pomade in the shade Ebony. So today I'm using my NYX Ultimate Brights palette, which is full of amazing colours. So we're starting off with this yellow shade here for, for my transition colour. And just taking a fluffy blending brush and putting that above my crease so the green can blend into the yellow since I didn't have a light enough uh, green shade I thought I may as well use yellow because they're kind of like not similar colours but they complement each other do you know what I mean and then moving on to the crease colour I'm taking this um, so you this like bluey greeny kind of colour to so just put that slightly in my crease and the good thing about this when you blend it in with the yellow it kind of goes um, like a nice green so that's why I thought it would go well in the crease so they blend into each other so it's so like harsh lines or anything the yellow and just blending it into the outer edges so there's no harsh lines and more of the bluey green colour and blending it in together and I'm taking this uh, slightly darker green and taking that dark green on a slightly denser brush and putting that on the outer corner of my eye and blending it into the crease to deepen things up a bit so we have a bit more dimension going on and then just getting the blending brush again to just blend everything together and getting more of the bluey green colour and just putting that through the crease again to blend the green into the bluey green if that makes sense <laughs> so basically it's just packing on colours and blending them together and repacking them on to make sure they blend because you don't want any harsh lines at all and for the crease colour we're getting this really really nice um, olive colour here and it's quite shimmery so I thought it would be quite cute on the lid and just taking that and packing it on and putting it slightly above the lid so we can still see it when I'm putting the eyeliner on. I'm really, really packing that on. Taking more of the dark green, just blending them together. And then taking the fluffy blending brush to blend it out so there's no harsh lines and I keep saying that because you do not want harsh lines 
I swear in all my tutorials, I literally just like say the same, same things over and over again. I must be so annoying to watch because I literally just repeat myself, but hey ho. <laughs> now, moving on to eyeliner. I literally haven't done eyeliner in so long. So let's hope it goes well. Um, for eyeliner today, I'm using a Natural Collection uh, Liquid Eye Lines Eyeliner. I think that's what it's called. So yeah, it's just um, the brand from Boots. I don't know whether you guys can actually see that, but it's my favourite eyeliner because of how um, thin it is. So it's really easy to get to precise, sharp lines. So yeah, let's do this. Does anyone else hold their breath when they're doing eyeliner? Like, it's so hard. Okay, that's the eyeliner done. So moving on to uh, mascara. I'm using the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara and just coating my lashes. And that is the eyes done for now. So let's move on to the rest of my face. So to prime, I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Mattifying Base as my primer. And I'm just putting that in my T-zone because that's where I get the oiliest. For foundation, I'm using the NYX Total Drop Control Foundation in the shade golden. I did a review on this on my channel, so if you haven't already seen it, uh, I will link it in the description bar. Oh, crap. Oh my God, woo. Literally, this foundation is so ready. I literally can't deal with it. Uh, so I'm just have to tilt my head so it doesn't run down. But um, I'm using my sponge to blend this all out. Oh my god, it's literally, can you see that? It's like really, oh my god. Oh no, it's ruined my eyebrows. Fuck. Okay, we could, we could fix this. Moving on to concealer, I'm just using the collection of concealer again. Just literally painting that on. And blending that out with a sponge. For everything, I'm taking the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. eyebrows actually got covered up by the foundation so I'm just gonna quickly fix them to make them more sharp so to contour and bronze I'm taking my Too Faced Coco Contour Kit in the shade medium to deep and I'm just taking the brush that comes with the kit and the shade Deep Mocha, which is a small cool tone uh, contouring shade, and just contouring my cheeks. Contour kit smells so good. I love it. Literally, it smells like chocolate. And I haven't had anything to eat all day, so this is making me so hungry. <laughs> and don't forget to contour your chin, because 
I definitely need that because I have so many chins. <laughs> Now that uh, I've contoured, I'm going to take the medium shade. So I'm just gonna bronze that up and add some color back into my uh, face. And to highlight, I'm just taking the highlight shade from the same palette. This one's very glittery, but still pretty cute. Get to highlight the nose, because I love highlighting my nose. Now back to the under eye, I'm taking the dark blue, uh, dark blue, <laughs> dark green here and putting that under my lower lash line. I'm getting more of this uh, bluey green colour and just smoking that out and blending it out. And for the inner corner highlight, I'm just taking the um, highlighter that I used from the Too Faced kit and using the same mascara for my lower lashes Just using my soft matte lip cream in the shade London by NYX as always and I don't really like line the lips for this because it's pretty close to my skin lip colour, so there's no need for me to line it. And that is the finished look. Uh, I hope you guys really enjoyed this uh, green eyeshadow look. So yeah, um, if you like it, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I shall see you in my next video. Bye!